Number four is going to be pivot method, which means don't trace to start with because we're going to close darts as we trace. We're going to convert both of them to flare, have no darts at the top at all. And hopefully you can see what the aesthetic looks like right here. It just keeps it a nice clean style line because there are no style lines at all. But we have a real nice A-line skirt. Now this is not the same as a circle skirt. That is adding so much more flare. And at that point, you can't add proportionate flare from a dart anymore. At that point, you either have to slash and spread or you're adding godets or you're figuring out a different way to get that proportionate flare. But you can't use your darts to go any farther because there's no more darts to take out after this maneuver. Okay. I'm going to find where the heck I put my sloper. There it is. Okay. So we're going to trace as we go. So similar to number two, I'm going to start at the fold line closest to center front or center back. And I'm going to trace across the waist, down the center, across the hemline, up the out seam, and to the first line of my first dart. Then I'm going to put my pencil in the common pivot point, pivot that first dart shut, draw the second part of the waistline, stop, put my pencil back in the common pivot point, and trace both. I totally am a liar. It's not where we're starting. Don't start tracing. I'm like, wait, how are we getting any flare? What the heck? We need to start at the center bottom. As you can see on my little sloper, my little red mark here, my slopers have that because I use pivot method a lot. And we start in the center bottom. We end at the center bottom. What the? This is not making any sense. There we go. Starting at the center bottom. You're gonna need extra tissue paper along the out seam for here. We're gonna start here at the center bottom. We're gonna come across the hemline up the center front. Make sure you know where your hip line is. That's gonna matter. And we're gonna come across the waistline to the edge of our first dart. We're gonna pivot that dart closed till the mark we made and the vertical line of our dart are aligned. We're going to draw the next part of our waistline, make another mark, put our pencil back in the pivot, pivot our second dart closed to our vertical line and our mark line up. Finish drawing across the waistline, down the out seam, pretend I've still got paper, come in across our hemline and stop at that mark we made in the center of our sloper. Make sure your one comma pivot is marked. Take off your sloper. Okay. Now we know where our hip line is on the side. We know our, where our hip line is in the front. Our hip line in the front stays perpendicular to the center front. Our hip line coming down the side stays perpendicular to our side seam. We're gonna take our curve and we're gonna smooth this out and round it. Same thing with our hemlines down here. We'll extend this hemline, we'll extend this hemline, and where this is overlapping, we'll smooth this out. This corner needs to stay at a right angle. This corner out here also needs to stay at a right angle. So you can curve all you want in here, but while you, when you get to the side seam intersection and hemline intersection, it needs to be at a right angle because this piece has to connect to the other piece and they have to be able to connect straight or you've got a weird duck bill in your hem or a swallowtail, a swoop, a dovetail, a duck bill, depending on which way it swoops, whether it's in or out. Does that make sense? So when you're finished, you have a pattern piece that looks very similar to this. No darts at the top, which means this common pivot point, you needed it for reference, but do you have a dart to pivot? 
Do you have an apex curve you need to be marked up here at all? No, because you're not taking out any fabric. So it's no longer a reference point for you. Your hip line will be slightly curved. Your hemline will be slightly curved. Depending on how much of a hemline you put on here, I would fold it. If it's anything more than a quarter of an inch, I would fold it up and have it folded when you cut to make sure you get the appropriate hem flare at the bottom for your hemline. My aesthetic did not want a seam line down the middle because if I was going to put in a seam line, I might as well keep the darts as a style line. How do you want your grain line to be? This is my favorite skirt to cut on the bias and to have a facing as a waistband because then there's not a single style line on the skirt at all except for your out seams. And it flows really nice. It is a really nice aesthetic. <laughs>